DSMS, I'm Ethan. And I'm Sam. And, and we're, we're here with September 11th, 11th edition, edition of DSMS TV News. News. There's a parent meeting about the Washington, D.C. trip on Wednesday, September 16th at 7 p.m. in the Media Center. Only students and parents who have not signed up for the trip should attend. Now to the birthdays! Hi, I'm Cole, here with today's birthdays. Today's birthdays are Caroline Galvin and Olivia Tigas. That's it for today's birthdays. Now to the anchors. We're back! Today we are celebrating the National Mournful Day of 9-11. Now to a 9-11 video created by a DSMS teacher, Miss Groves, and her art students. Have a fun Friday! September 11th. Let me be your a day we will never forget. A proclamation was made by George W. Bush, President of the United States of America at the time, to mark the anniversary of the bombing of the World Trade Center and the Pentagon in 2001. President Bush proclaimed that September 11th be named Patriot Day. On this day, the proclamation that asks flags to be flown at half-mast and that the day be marked by ceremonies, candlelight vigils, and other remembrance services. September 11, 2001, was a defining moment in American history. On that terrible day, our nation saw the face of evil as 19 men attacked us, and many people of many races, nationalities, and creeds died on that fateful day. On Patriot Day, we remember the innocent victims, and we pay tribute to the valiant firefighters, police officers, emergency personnel, and ordinary citizens who risk their lives so others might live. All Americans honor the selfless men and women of our armed forces, the dedicated members of our public safety, law enforcement, and the intelligence communities, and the thousands of others who work hard each day to protect our country, secure our liberty, and prevent future attacks. The spirit of our people is the source of America's strength, and 14 years ago, Americans came to the aid of neighbors in need. On Patriot Day, we pray for those who died and for their families. We volunteer to help others and demonstrate the continuing compassion for our citizens. On this solemn occasion, we rededicate ourselves to laying the foundation of peace with confidence in our mission and our free way of life. This year's theme is Heroes of 9-11. Our post represents an older man with his shadow casting against an American flag of him being a soldier, representing him serving in the army. This also means uh, he was uh, all soldiers that are survivors or who passed, who just served in general. It's just thanking them and everyone. Saluting the flag draped over the Twin Towers represents our country mourning as one. The skyline behind represents that our country will always remember this tragic event. In the center of our poster is the eagle that represents the United States and the five branches of the military standing strong. Underneath there are the um, branches, the symbols of the branches of the military. And of course the fire department, because without them a lot of people would have died. So as a country, uh, this is our flag. The flag re represents the USA and how we stand for our rights. This guy right here represents the firefighters who let out the fire of the plane crash. This represents New York and the Twin Towers. This represents all the volunteers that helped during 9-11. The Freedom Dev is wearing a sash with a red cross on it because that is the main volunteer organization that helped in 9-11. The stars represent all the volu other volunteers that helped in the 9-11. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas.